Uh, sir, it is always a pleasure to sit across from you. Thank you. Uh, um, what do I need to do after seeing the movie? Um, what do I need to do to have you acting and directing more? <laughs> um, uh, talk to my wife. Okay. Uh, <laughs> uh, you know, it's very consuming to do these two things together. I used to wonder, like, like one of my mentors and idols was Milos Forman, who directed One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest and Amadeus, and I did Larry Flint, The People vs. Larry Flint with him. And I used to sort of look at Milos and go, like, this is one of the most award-winning directors ever in the history of the business. Why does he take so long between his projects? And now I know. <laughs> I know. Because he needed to sleep for four years well, uh, when he was done. I've spoken to a number of filmmakers, and, and what a lot of people in the general public might not realize is it can take two, three years of your life, and it's this is all you can do. Yeah. Um, I, this, this, what are we in? We're fall of 2019. So, yeah, this has been t the two solid years. No, not even. It's, it's it, yeah, it's, it's over two solid years that I've been working on it since we started actually prepping it. But for five years before that, I, I had my script, and I was trying to get this cast together and get it together. I was doing some other things then, but it, it takes up a lot of space to, it takes up a lot of space to do something big and ambitious, you know? Well, no matter what happens after this interview, I just need you acting more, and because I just, I'm a, I'm a big fan. Thank you. Um, one of the things I want to uh, talk about, and I want to commend Warner Brothers for making the movie with you, because these movies are really tough to get made nowadays. It's true. Um, but so, you know what's interesting is, um, I, I don't, I have a affection and a romance for sort of the history of, of Hollywood in some ways. And, and I do, I am happy with this particular film. I get very happy when that Warner Brothers logo spins up because they, Warner Brothers made LA Confidential. They made like Clint Eastwood's, you know, uh, movies. They made Argo with Ben Affleck. They, there is an actual tradition at that studio of, of like, of supporting grown up muscular, uh, visions of actor, director, you know, it, it really is a tradition there. And I, I, I feel like those were some of the films that inspired this film. Um, I, I wanted to make one of those kinds of films like LA, my, you know, my memory of LA Confidential was, I couldn't tell you the plot of that movie today, but, but about two minutes into it, my brain went, oh man, I am really happy to be through the glass and into this because it, felt right, just like the music was great, the actors were, were grounded and gutsy and serious, and whatever was going on, I didn't know what the hell was going on, and I didn't care, because you're, you're lost, you're hypnotized. And I think that that's, the, that hypnosis, that sense of having been carried into a world and where there are characters that, that have a hold on you, and you don't care where they take you. That's, that's what I love about those films. That's what I think everybody loves about those films. It's it's the romance of movies. It's what it's the being taken away into something other than our pedestrian kind of daily experience here, and that's what I wanted to do. You know, and you did it. I already have to go, um, <laughs> and that's it. I have a million other questions, sir. It's a pleasure again. Thank you. Thank you so much. Pleasure.